and good morning to everyone. I am Chris Roselli, Director of Community Relations here at Western. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the virtual Celebration of Excellence Awards ceremony. Although we unfortunately can't be together in person, I would like to welcome you all, friends, colleagues, alumni, retired staff and faculty, emeritus faculty, board of trustees, and perhaps even friends and families of award recipients. Thank you for joining us. The Celebration of Excellence is a new centralized awards event to recognize all of the campus-wide awards that were historically presented at different events at different times of the year, such as convocation, the employee recognition ceremony, and the faculty senate awards. The inaugural event was supposed to take place last June, but we obviously had to postpone that due to COVID-19. So now this is a way overdue celebration for our amazing colleagues that were selected for an award for the 2019-2020 academic year. Because we aren't able to celebrate these awards together and recognize each recipient up on the stage with our applause and cheers, we encourage you to congratulate your colleagues in the YouTube chat feature or on Western's social media platforms where we will be posting about each award recipient. Also, be sure to explore the employee mosaic that's on this page so you can see some of your colleagues that you may not have seen for a while. And also get some glimpses of campus as well, since our friends in facilities management have been hard at work keeping everything looking amazing, even though we're not able to enjoy it. All right, to get things started, it is my great pleasure to introduce our Western Washington University president, Sabah Randawa. Greetings and congratulations to all our award winners. I'd like to begin by extending my sincere thanks to the entire campus community for the work this fall to provide a safe learning and working environment for us all. In particular, I want to express my sincere appreciation to two special groups whose high-risk work has been critical for our campus. One, the teams who have been working relentlessly to clean our classrooms and facilities every day. And two, our dedicated nurses, nurse practitioners, and physicians who rapidly and effectively created and implemented a testing program for all our students. We have all had to make major changes in how we do our jobs, whether we are working from home or on campus, and you all have in some way contributed to moving Western forward in these challenging times. As we continue working in this remote environment, it's easy to lose sight of what an exceptionally complex organization Western is. The staggering diversity of functions, roles, and processes that need to be coordinated to advance our mission and advance student success. You are the people who make this a place where exceptional young people spend some of the most transformative years of their lives. A place where they are inspired, educated, and empowered to make a positive difference in the world. Over the years, our students change us and the institution for the better, even as we provide them the tools to make change in the world. But through all the comings and goings, you are the enduring heart of Western. Wherever and however you serve at Western, I want you to know that every one of you makes a valuable contribution to that shared mission. Advancing inclusive student success is a comprehensive project that requires caring and dedicated faculty and staff, efficient and sustainable administrative processes and facilities, and a community and environment in which all students are made to feel welcome, valued, and respected. That is the case for our success and well-being as employees too, because we bring not only our professional talents, but our full being and identity to work with us every day. 
Each of us has an opportunity and a responsibility to shape the campus environment into a place where we can all not only find satisfaction in our work, but a sense of belonging and dignity that embraces our full humanity. This is my fifth year at Western, and with every year that passes, I am more proud to serve alongside each of you. Thank you for the commitment, the creativity, and the teamwork you bring to your work throughout the year. Thank you for the positivity and hope you invest in our students. Congratulations to all of our award winners. You inspire us with your example and make us proud to be your colleagues. And to everyone watching, thank you for all you do to make Western a place where we are all proud to serve. Thank you, President Randawa. Now I would like to introduce our provost, Brent Carbajal, who will introduce each of the award recipients. Oh, and don't forget to send them a little love in that chat section. Good morning, everyone. The recipients of these awards have all made important contributions to Western as leaders, innovators, community servants, team builders, and team players. In the interest of time, I will be reading abbreviated descriptions of their accomplishments, so I encourage you to visit the faculty and staff recognition section of the President's web page for their full bios. The Arlen Norman Award for Excellence in Student Mentoring is named for Western's founding dean of the College of Sciences and Technology and recognizes a faculty member in the College of Science and Engineering for excellence in mentoring student research. The recipient of the Arlen Norman Award for Excellence in Student Mentoring is Robert Mitchell, the Diggs Distinguished Professor of Engineering Geology. Dr. Mitchell's research on the agricultural impacts to groundwater quality, aquifers, and the effects of climate change on mountain hydrology has been instrumental to management and policy decisions for regional tribes, regulatory agencies, and municipalities. In addition to being an outstanding teacher, Bob has been a dedicated mentor to students, helping provide access to professional experiences and geologic licensing, and serves as faculty advisor for Western's student chapter of the Association of Environmental and Engineering Geologists. Congratulations, Bob. The Carl H. Simpson Bridging Award is made annually to a student, staff, or faculty member who has created bridges and forged new paths that others may follow and build upon in turn. During his 25 years working at Western as a professor and administrator, Carl H. Simpson was a man dedicated to bridging intellectual, interpersonal, and administrative worlds. The recipient of the Carl H. Simpson Bridging Award is Lindsay McDonald of the WWU Sustainable Communities Program, and more recently has been serving as interim director for the Office of Sustainability. Lindsay connects community challenges on both sides of Puget Sound with Western student energy and faculty expertise in Bellingham and Western on the peninsulas. These partnerships have included courses, independent studies, field work, and internships focused on community-identified projects. Lindsay is passionate about convening groups of people with different life experience, expertise, and passions to work together for positive social change. Congratulations and thank you for your vision and collaboration, Lindsay. The Equity and Inclusion Award recognizes a staff, student, or faculty member, or office for outstanding contributions to advancing inclusive success, enhancing academic excellence, or increasing Western's impact in Washington within the context of equity and inclusion. The recipient of the 2020 Equity and Inclusion Award is Chevelle Thibault of Western Libraries. Chevelle joined Western Libraries in January of 2012 and is currently the Director of Teaching and Learning while also serving as an instructor in the Adult and Higher Education Graduate Program. Chevelle collaborates across campus through the Social Justice and Equity Committee, the Structural Equity and Bias Response Team, and other opportunities focused on dismantling the inequities present within our teaching and learning community. Congratulations, Chevelle, and thank you for your leadership and collaboration in making Western a more inclusive organization. The Excellence in Teaching Award goes to a faculty member from the College of Business and Economics, Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies, Fine and Performing Arts, 
Huxley College of the Environment, and Woodring College of Education. The 2020 Excellence in Teaching Award goes to Veronica Vélez from Secondary Education. Dr. Vélez is an Associate Professor in Secondary Education and the Founding Director of the Education and Social Justice Minor. Dr. Vélez's work broadly analyzes the causes of racial inequities in education and how they impact the educational trajectories of students of color, particularly Latinx students. Veronica is currently organizing with teachers, administrators, and community members to develop an ethnic studies curriculum for Bellingham Public High Schools. In 2017, she was one of six faculty across Washington State awarded the Ormsby Award for Faculty Citizenship to recognize exemplary service for her efforts to create systems for underrepresented and underserved students to access higher education. Congratulations, Veronica. The Outstanding Classified Staff Award is presented by the Western Federation of State Employees and Public School Employees Unions at Western. This award recognizes an individual who exemplifies a positive and creative approach to problem solving and innovation that significantly advances departmental goals or the university's mission and contributes to Western's learning community. This year's Outstanding Classified Staff recipient is Terry Hall from the College of Business and Economics. In addition to serving as the Student Success Specialist for the College of Business and Economics, Terry has served on the President's Council for Equity, Inclusion, and Social Justice and is a founding member of CBE's Equity, Inclusion, and Social Justice Task Force, for which she procured a $32,000 grant for 2020-2021. This will enable the task force to hire five EID student advocates and invest in programmatic efforts to increase cultural competency at CBE. Thank you for your leadership and advocacy, Terry. The Outstanding Faculty Leadership Award recognizes a WWU faculty member who has made outstanding and impactful efforts that have enriched the intellectual vitality of the campus and the broader community. This work may include service to the university or the profession, as well as service learning programs and outreach to the local and broader community. The recipient for this year's Outstanding Faculty Leadership Award is Keith Russell from the Department of Health and Human Development. Since his arrival to Western in 2008, Keith has taken on many leadership roles to serve his program, department, the university, his profession, and the community at large. As department chair, Keith successfully managed the challenges faced by health and human development while faculty offices and labs were displaced across campus during the Carver Academic Facility renovation. Keith's colleagues extol his excellent skills in listening, facilitating discussion, resolving conflict, and communicating empathy to students, staff, and faculty. Congratulations, Keith, and thank you for your leadership. Each year, WWU alumni nominate a faculty member who made an impact on their life as a student for the Outstanding Faculty Mentor Award. This year, alumni selected Brian Hutchinson from the Department of Computer Science. Brian is passionate about mentorship in all forms. He has mentored over 70 undergraduate and master's research students. He mentors department TAs and graders as the department's first TA coordinator. He has helped to organize and run the College of Science and Engineering TA training program, and he co-founded and served as the first chair of the Computer Science Department's Student-Centered Learning Committee designed to support junior faculty's growth as effective instructors. Brian, thank you for making a lasting impact on our students and faculty. The Paul J. Olskamp Research Award, named for Western's former president, recognizes a faculty member from either the College of Humanities and Social Sciences or the College of Science and Engineering for their impressive record of achievement in scholarship and research during their time at Western. The 2019-2020 recipient is Greg O'Neill from the Department of Chemistry. Dr. O'Neill's research efforts and results are truly outstanding in terms of publications, external funding, and mentoring of students. He has published 32 peer-reviewed papers in high-quality journals describing work done at WWU and has received grants from the National Science Foundation, the National Institutes of Health, the American Chemical Society Petroleum Research Fund, and the Washington Research Foundation to support his research focused on natural products chemistry. In all, his funding since arriving at WWU is close to $2 million. Congratulations, Greg. 
The Peter J. Elitch Excellence in Teaching Award, named for Western's former Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, is given to a faculty member from either the College of Humanities and Social Sciences or the College of Science and Engineering in recognition for their exemplary teaching practices. The recipient for this year's award is Glenn Sunakai from the Department of Sociology. Dr. Sunakai is an educator, mentor, and sociologist who teaches classes on race and ethnic relations and social inequality. One of Glenn's primary goals as an educator is to help his students question their assumptions about how society operates and to actively encourage them to push the boundaries of accepted understandings by engaging in critical thinking. Glenn uses active learning pedagogy approaches such as service learning and group projects. He finds tremendous reward in watching inquisitive students transform themselves into budding scholars. Glenn, thank you for expanding the minds of our students. The Philip E. Sharp Community Engagement Award, named in honor of former WWU Board of Trustee member and active community volunteer Phil Sharp, recognizes a faculty or staff member or group of Western employees for their involvement in outstanding community service, including outreach and engagement activities that benefit the well-being of the community at large or individuals in the community. The recipient for this year's Philip E. Sharp Community Engagement Award is David Sattler from the Department of Psychology. Professor Sattler has a strong record of local, national, and international community service addressing environmental and educational issues. David was responsible for bringing world-renowned chimpanzee expert Dr. Jane Goodall to Bellingham. He provides outreach to community groups and schools on issues of social concern and is involved internationally in addressing climate change issues in both Tonga and Mongolia. In the wake of the Indian Ocean tsunami, David established the International Tsunami Museum in Thailand to help promote recovery. Congratulations, David, and thank you for all the ways you serve our local and global communities. The President's Exceptional Effort Awards are presented to eight professional or classified employees across all four divisions in recognition of performance that demonstrates exceptional effort in one or more of the following criteria. Excellence of performance, excellence in personal interaction, excellence in initiative and creativity, and or outstanding achievement. The first of eight President's Exceptional Effort Awards goes to Justina Brown, who is an instructional designer in the ATUS Teaching, Learning, and Technology Division, and directs the Center for Instructional Innovation, WWU's Teaching and Learning Center. She leads faculty professional development efforts, creates online resources to support best practices and promote teaching excellence, and supports faculty use of innovations in their teaching. Justina was the project director for a $36,000 Washington State grant to help faculty replace high-cost textbooks with free and openly licensed materials, saving about 2,000 students over $270,000 in the first year alone. Thank you for your exceptional innovation, Justina. The next Exceptional Effort Award goes to Sarah Crawford from the Human Resources Department. Sarah has worked at Western for about nine years, most of this time as payroll manager, but she recently moved into the role of Senior HR Analytics Manager. She is committed to ensuring the accuracy of HR data and, in turn, accurate paychecks, which we all appreciate. She is an effective communicator, maintains a positive attitude, and possesses excellent leadership qualities. Congratulations, Sarah, and thank you for your exceptional personal interactions and support of Western employees. David Engebretson, Jr. from WebTech is also a recipient of the President's Exceptional Effort Award. David is the Digital Technologies Accessibility Coordinator, where he works to help the Western community learn to understand what it means to provide accessible digital technologies to all humans. He is committed to being a collaborative coworker and strives to be humble, and concise while explaining complicated technical issues. David also helps the greater Western community by sharing his expertise with other key stakeholders in the Western community, such as Bellingham Public Schools, the City of Bellingham, the Bellingham Public Libraries, the Whatcom Transit Authority, the Whatcom County Auditor's Office, and more. David, thank you for all you do to help Western be a more accessible and inclusive institution. The next recipient of the President's Exceptional Effort Award is Jessica Heidemann from the Student Health Center. Jessica started working at 
WWU in 1998 as a student and has been here ever since. She facilitated the move to a new electronic medical record system and assisted with the Student Health Center's process of becoming AAAHC accredited, something that few university health centers have accomplished. Congratulations, Jessica, and thank you for your exceptional achievement of upgrading the systems of the Student Health Center. Another 2019-2020 Exceptional Effort Award goes to Ryan Key Win from Admissions. Ryan leads a small, dynamic team to execute communication and marketing initiatives to attract prospective students, engage applicants, and retain admitted students through their initial enrollment. She enjoys collaborating with colleagues across campus to tell Western's story and diving into data and research to better understand emerging communication preferences and improve communication delivery. She has served as a member of Western Brand Council, served on the search committee for the Executive Director of American Indian, Alaska Native and First Nations Relation and Tribal Liaison to the President, and sits on the university's marketing committee. She is also one of three slate captains implementing a new CRM for admissions and other offices within the ESS. Congratulations, Ryan. The sixth exceptional effort award goes to Ellen Kuhlman, from Space Administration. As the Space Analyst for Space Administration and Management, or SAM, Ellen has visited just about every room on campus outside of the residence halls. When the SAM director unexpectedly left Western in 2019, Ellen stepped into the breach, juggling many department responsibilities until such time that the specialized post is filled. During the past year, she has co-led a team that developed a six-year plan to upgrade all the general university classrooms, led the Academic Space Modeling and Capital Plan Task Force, and managed ongoing projects and data requests. Multi-talented and creative, Ellen has a central role in making sure Western's current spaces are used wisely and in planning how to meet the institution's space needs. Congratulations on your exceptional performance, Ellen. The next President's Exceptional Effort Award goes to Talisa Manker, formerly with the Department of Decision Sciences. Although she is now the department manager for the Department of Elementary Education, she was nominated for this award for her work in the Department of Decision Sciences in the College of Business and Economics, where she worked until February of 2020. In the past year, Taliso was voted by her peers to serve as the staff representative on the college's policy council. She served on three search committees, including the university-wide search committee for the Vice Provost for Outreach and Continued Education, and she traveled to Vietnam with study group to promote Western's business programs and to recruit students. Thank you, Talisa, for your exceptional achievement and congratulations. The final exceptional effort award for this year goes to John Solberg in print and copy services. John started at Western in 2014 as a supervisor of the print and copy center. Under his leadership, the print and copy center has shown demonstrated growth with a focus on quality, collaboration, and client satisfaction. Because of John's high performance and capabilities, he was promoted to manager of print copy and mail services in 2019, which provided John with a higher level of administrative responsibilities in which he has both excelled and exceeded expectations. He continually seeks, reviews, and implements improved processes and capabilities. Congratulations and thank you, John. The Professional Staff Organization Award for Excellence recognizes a member of the professional staff whose work has promoted Western's strategic plan objectives to advance inclusive success, enhance academic excellence, or increase Western's impact in Washington through one or more of the following. Exceptional communication and interpersonal skills, exceptional integrity and professionalism and job performance that inspires excellence in others, exceptional dedication to encouraging initiative, creativity, and exploration of new ideas through work and interaction with others. The following three professional staff members were selected this year. Chevelle Thibault of Western Libraries receives her second award today, so while I've already shared her bio with you, we congratulate Chevelle on being recognized by the PSO in addition to receiving the Equity and Inclusion Award. You are clearly an asset to Western, and we appreciate your vision and leadership. The second PSO Award of Excellence goes to Wayne Galloway in Facilities Management. Wayne Galloway's passion for Western Washington University's custodial teams has powered his determination to establish team building, leadership development, 
and top-notch customer service skills since joining the facilities management team in 2016. His personal attention and care for the university's custodial staff has created a cohesive, respectful, and caring team. Due to his experience as a master water restorer, FM was able to create the water damage response team that quickly responded to flooding events and minimized the long-term impact as seen in VU and ES floods of 2019. Congratulations, Wayne. The third recipient of the PSO Award of Excellence is another dual award winner this year, Justina Brown of ATUS. Since her bio was read with her President's Exceptional Effort Award, I'll extend a hearty congratulations for both recognitions. Thank you, Justina. The Ronald Klein Connect Excellence in Teaching Award is presented annually to one instructor or visiting faculty member from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences who has made outstanding contributions to teaching at Western. The award was established by Ronald A. Kleinconnect, the founding dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. The recipient of the 2019-2020 Ronald Kleinconnect Excellence in Teaching Award goes to Stephen Howey from the Department of Journalism. Professor Howey is a prize-winning reporter, editor, nonfiction writer, college professor, and videographer. He has written several books, as well as innumerable articles, in-depth features, profiles in investigative journalism for top newspapers and magazines across the country. His students praise his ability to create a positive learning environment, actively include them in determining learning outcomes for his courses, and prepare them for their professional careers. Stephen, thank you for your enthusiasm, your dedication, and care for our students. And now for our final award. The Team Recognition Award recognizes a group of staff, faculty, and students whose collaboration reaches across familiar boundaries to significantly advance the university's mission. The nominations for the team award are strong every year, and this year six nominations were submitted, all tremendous examples of exceptional collaboration and teamwork. The 2019-20 Team Recognition Award goes to the Small Business Development Center Kitsap Team. Working collaboratively over a two-year period, this team was able to create broad community enthusiasm and secure support from five different funders to expand Western's presence on the peninsulas with a new small business development center. The center launched in late summer 2019 and has assisted over 143 entrepreneurs with annual sales of $6.6 million through December 2019. Congratulations to everyone that contributed to the fundraising and opening of this vital resource as part of Western's presence on the Olympic Peninsula. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, Western Vice Presidents, Deans, and your colleagues, thank you to all of today's award recipients. You truly inspire us with your example. I'll give it back to you, Chris, to finish things up with the Years of Service Awards and recognition of retirees. Thanks, Provost Carbajal, and congratulations to all of the award recipients. Now, as Brent mentioned, we also would like to recognize the years of service awards for those Western staff and faculty that have reached a milestone anniversary in the past year, and also for those that have retired in the past year. These names are also listed on the PDF version of the event program that is linked on this page. And if you are celebrating a milestone, just go ahead and pretend that we're in the PAC and stand up and wave to your partner or your kids or your cat, uh, dog, guinea pig, uh, rats, hamsters, plants, uh, whoever or whatever it is around you right now, stand up and wave and be celebrated. So Robert, Go ahead and roll the years of service and retiree names. And again, congratulations.
Okay, everyone, that wraps up our Celebration of Excellence award ceremony for this year. Please follow the link to the faculty and staff awards page on the president's website to see the listing of all of the awards recipients and keep an eye out on Western's social media platform to see the postings for each award winner. And as amazing as it sounds, it's almost time for the nomination process to start of the 2020-2021 awards. Many of the faculty awards have already opened up and are due on December 1st, and the rest will be opening soon and due at the end of January. So start thinking about nominating a colleague that you think is doing amazing things. Nomination information for each award is available on the Celebration of Excellence website. So thanks for tuning in. And I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see you all in person, whenever that may be. In the meantime, be sure to explore the Western employee mosaic that is on this awards page to see the photos that you and your colleagues submitted. Thank you and take care everyone.